Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. This is gonna be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you are dealing with a Virgo, these messages may resonate with you as well. Energies can be interchangeable, so swap the roles if you need to. Also, not every message may be your message. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Today we're going to be looking at past, current, future energy, and then we will pull some cards for advice. Virgo, person on your mind, person you are connecting with this week, 428-22 to 55-22. Virgo. What can you tell me for Virgo? In love. What do you got for Virgo? I'm getting heavy, like, <laughs> friends with benefits energy or, like, Keeping things light and fun, Virgo. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Yeah, look at that. I say that, and then at the bottom of the deck, you have fun connection. So there's nothing better than being with someone who adds fun to your life. Enjoy the adventure and be happy. So some of you are just, yeah, trying to keep things light and fun. Ooh, some of you could be going through some sort of separation or divorce, keeping your options open or getting back into the dating scene. It looks like... In your recent past, there's some sort of love triangle situation, all right? It looks like there could have been some sort of heartbreak. Uh, you got yourself out of this situation. It's like, I'm not going to wait around for you to pick me. I'm good, and you may have walked away. In your current energy, there is someone here that has all the qualities you ever wanted in a partner. Feels like it's a dream come true. And in your immediate future, you have... Either you're meeting someone who is recently divorced or separated. Maybe they have children. and Or this could be your energy. And there's something here about questioning whether or not this is worth putting effort into. All right, like real effort into. So let's take a look. What can you tell me for Virgo? Sun, moon, raising, Venus placements. Virgo, sun, moon, raising, Venus. Past energy. Virgo. Virgo, past energy for my Virgos. We got the High Priestess in reverse with Love Triangle. So some sort of secret was exposed here. Wow, Five of Swords. There definitely was a lot of fighting, conflict going on here. And I feel like someone removed themselves from the situation in your recent past. You could be connecting with a Pisces. It was Five of Swords energy. Yeah, that looks... Um, yeah, and then you have the Knight of Wands. So there is an energy here of like someone being in and out, hot and cold, all right? It could be because you were in some sort of love triangle situation. I, I do feel like you guys removed yourself due to the secret that was exposed, all right? It's like, I'm not going to be a second option. Deuces, okay? What's your current energy for Virgo? Current energy. You either met someone new or you have someone here that does have all of the qualities that you want in a partner. All right, four pentacles, but someone here is holding back. Could be a Leo with strength here. Someone here is holding back on this connection. Yeah, maybe because they are getting over some sort of recent breakup when it comes to a relationship. Death, Scorpio energy, and 10 of cups. So, and then my candle just went out. Yeah, there is an ending. Yep, look at that. And there's a lot of contemplating going on when it comes to a brand new beginning or this new connection, this new person. All right. A lot of hesitation I'm hearing. What's in your immediate future? You have the Tower and the Eight of Pentacles. So, hmm. That paired with the divorce card, I feel like, yeah, there is some sort of, yep, and then you have the Chariot here. Wow. There is some sort of unexpected ending here there's some sort of unexpected like tower moment shake up when it comes to either divorce or some sort of separation this could be you experiencing this or your person all right i feel like there is an energy here of moving on moving towards a victory with the chariot five of wands damn there's a lot of conflict with this person four of swords this person that you're separating from there is healing energy that needs to happen in your immediate future Nine of Swords. And there's a lot of stress surrounding the situation as well. Some of you may feel stuck in this situation. You have heavy Pisces energy. It's like wanting to move towards a wish fulfillment or wanting to move towards something else, but feeling kind of stuck in limbo when it comes to your current oops, when it comes to your current situation or the situation where you're separating from someone or divorcing someone. 
is what I'm getting here. This player type of energy, this hot and cold uh, person that's in and out of your life. All right, let's see. I'm going to test you to get a reaction or see if you really care. This person, yeah, there, I feel like there's a lot of drama and conflict that comes with this person in your immediate future, okay? I'm gonna be that total package for you. You will have it all with me. But I feel like you have someone here that really wants something with you and you may feel trapped to the situation from the past and you're having a hard time moving on. This jealousy is making me wanna rush in. Don't be surprised if I get a little too overprotective. I want you for myself. So you could have, yep. You have to make a choice. Choose who you want to make you happy. I need an answer from you. So <laughs> you guys may have, I mean, a couple different options here, but I feel like in your outcome, there's a lot of conflict. There's competition. There's arguing happening when it comes to one, feeling stuck to someone from your past and two, going towards something new. It's like this new person may want you to make a choice. It's like, I need an answer from you. Are we moving forward with this or are we not? Is what I'm getting. This person does have all of the qualities you want in someone, in a partner. They do want a new beginning with you. And some of you are having a hard time deciding is what I'm getting. Yeah, I split the deck and then you have competition. Someone is getting intimidated by all of the attention that you get, Virgo. Competing for your love, competing for this relationship. This person's very jealous. What else can you tell me for Virgo, please? Denial. It's much easier to deny my feelings for you. So someone's in denial when it comes to feelings here. Fantasizing. This person's doing a lot of thinking about you. Virgo. This could be a friend, right? This could be someone that you have this fun connection with, a friendship with, um, and maybe you're more comfortable being friends with them at this time. You're not really, yeah, look, it could be a rebound situation. It's like, I'm not really looking for anything serious right now. But this person wants to wants you to make a decision, wants you to make a choice here. And it's like someone is like, I am who I am. I'm not going to change who I am or I'm not in a position, a position to change the way just because you want me to doesn't mean I'm going to change. If I'm not ready, I'm, I'm not ready. And that's just the way that it is, is what I'm getting. Maybe you feel like you're not ready to make this choice. And this person may be testing you to get a reaction out of you, to see if you really care, to see if you really, really do want something with them. Or is it just a rebound situation is what I'm getting with that. What is your advice, Virgo? What is Virgo's advice here? Virgo, sun, moon, raising Venus. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. I think the new moon is in Taurus this weekend. It's either Aries or Taurus, but... So you have something here, prosperity lies ahead. So whatever this is, you will be victorious in. Tell me more about this advice for Taurus. What is the advice for Taurus? Some of you, maybe you haven't, you haven't met this new person yet, but they are coming in. Temperance, could be a Sagittarius for some of you, three of pentacles, could be somebody that you meet through work even, but somebody here wants to collaborate with you. Someone here wants to build with you. You have the magician. This is something that you may have manifested. You could be connecting with a Gemini, Knight of Pentacles. It's like there's this energy of like moving things forward very slow, all right? Slow and steady wins the race. And I feel like that's in your advice. Continue taking things slow. The Fool. Wow. You have the Fool and the Two of Wands. So there is a choice here when it comes to taking a leap of faith on something. You could be connecting with an Aries, taking action on something. But I do feel like, I mean, in your advice, I do feel like there's an energy here of needing to regain balance within yourself. I feel like there's definitely an energy of needing to heal, all right? I, I do feel like you guys are in a space of really wanting to take things slow, and that's in your advice. So continue doing that is what I'm getting here. Someone's very jealous though. This could be a per the person from the past, the person that you're separating with. They may make it difficult for you to move on, all right? They may try to start some drama for you when it comes to you moving on or going towards something new. But you do have a choice here to make, Virgo, and you need to choose whatever's gonna make you happy. And I feel like for you guys, for those of you I'm connecting with this week, 
that choice requires patience. It's like, I want to make sure that I'm making the right choice before I just jump into something. I'm actually enjoying the way things are going right now. I'm enjoying not being tied down. I'm enjoying not, I'm hearing like living your best life because you're still healing from something or this could be your person, okay? So that is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that was helpful. I hope that brought you some clarity to your situation. Make sure you like, share, subscribe if it did, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.